CKB Factory Entry Gate. The manufacturing plant is located north of Bangalore, around 30 kilometers from the Bangalore International Airport, which is well connected with most international routes. As you see, there are two buildings in this manufacturing facility, Plant A and Plant B. Plant A on the left-hand side, 1,200 square meters in area, is where the core engine of our technology, the PEM electrolyzer stack, is manufactured. Plant B on the right-hand side, same size as Plant A, is where most of the BOP components of our system, in example, power electronics, water purification unit, and cooling unit are manufactured or assembled. The passage in between the two plants is wide enough to allow a heavy-duty vehicle to move goods in and out of the two plants. At the end of the passage, you will see some ongoing construction work. This is the upcoming Plant C, 4,000 square meters in area, which will house the PEM MEA fabrication facility and will enable us to expand to 2 gigawatts of production capacity per year. The facility has been operational since June 2021. It runs 24-7 in three shifts with the roster schedule maintained for its staff. Necessary COVID-19 safety protocols are followed to ensure that the 100-plus workforce at the facility work in a seamless manner. Let us now proceed inside these different buildings to get a better understanding of our manufacturing capabilities. Plant A. In this plant, we build and test the PEM electrolyzer stack, which is the main engine of our technology. The lead up to the factory shop floor has the workspace of the plant manager, conference rooms for group activities, and other common workspaces. The manufacturing plant is organized by sections. A section for cell R&D testing, one section for stack assembly, and another one for stack testing. Cell R&D testing. The cell R&D testing unit receives the cells from our cell fabrication facility shown earlier. There are multiple testing stations in this section. These test stations run 24-7 and are built to ensure a uniform test environment for all the cells in consideration. A slew of test parameters, values, for example, current and voltage, are captured, monitored, measured, and analyzed. This helps us in achieving greater efficiency from the product. Stack Assembly The stack assembly area is a restricted entry area with a lot of intellectual property involved. This area receives all the cells that have undergone successful test completion. Stack, as the name suggests, is a series of metal plates that are stacked on top of each other. These metal plates have the cell membrane electrode assembly, a membrane and a coating, in between. The technology is developed in our R&D centers in the United States and India. Once the stack is assembled, it undergoes rigorous testing to ensure its performance meets the high quality requirements. It is characterized for varying voltage and current settings and water and pressure flow rates. Once the testing is complete, the stack is sent to the Lotus Hydrogen Cabinet for system integration. Plant B. In Plant B, we integrate the system BOP, all the power electronics, incoming water flow units, system cooling units. The right-hand side of the shop floor has a section for power electronics manufacturing and a section for power electronics testing. On the left-hand side, system integration happens and all the pieces of the electrolyzer system come together. Power Electronics Assembly The programmable power supplies are built and assembled here. We make both AC to DC rectifiers and DC to DC converters. Starting off from the quality check, components are assembled in a box build structure which includes PCB assembly, mechanical assembly, and magnetics assembly. After the final assembly check, the boxes are sent to testing and validation. The assembly line can be operated up to three shifts per day to enable us to quickly ramp up the production. Power electronics testing. The assembled power electronics boxes go through functional and accelerated tests. Input and output voltage and current characterization is done, and the units are sent to the Lotus Power Cabinet for system integration. System integration. At the system integration, all the pieces of the unit come together. A complete system consists of the Lotus Hydrogen Cabinet, a Lotus Power Cabinet, and auxiliary cabinets for cooling, water purification, remote monitoring, and power distribution. Lotus Power Cabinet takes electricity from the source and supplies DC power to the hydrogen cabinet. In the hydrogen cabinet, water is split into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis. 
we get about 6 kilograms of 99.99% pure hydrogen per hour. The native pressure at which the hydrogen comes out of the system is about 400 psi, or about 27 and one half bars.